up world it's Nicole Johnson aka Nicole Joe I'm back with another video sorry I know I've been kind of MIA for the past two weeks but I'm back and in full force so my hair has nothing on it right now it's wet but that is about it I have oil in my roots like I normally do outside of that I have nothing going on with my hair if you can't already tell by the title of this video I'm going to be doing a length check hair vitamins <sighs> my trimming experience in a styling setting spray that I enjoyed during my blow drying process. So if you definitely want to check out that, keep watching. If this is your first time checking out my channel, hello, hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified anytime I do any type of uploads. Also follow me on IG at Beauty on the Go with Miss Joe and my website at Beauty on the Go with Miss Joe.com. So let's get into this video. So you guys probably can't tell, but I did trim, cut my hair, whatever. It was actually more than a trim, but anyways. So I was in the process of doing a round brush blowout. I will be filming that once I perfect that, so don't worry about that. That first go round was a, just a complete and total disaster. So I'm gonna try again soon. I'm also going to do a dry bar experience too. I'm kind of excited about that, but I'm kind of nervous because I hope my hair doesn't come out crazy. Anyways. So I was doing a round brush blowout and I felt my ends and I was like, yeah, I probably need to cut them. Typically I cut my hair, well, I trim my ends twice a year. So that's just how I do it. I usually, it's usually fine for me. Last year I think I only did it once. Yes, I only think I did it once last year. So I was well overdue for a trim. So when I was blow drying it, I was like, man, my hair doesn't feel right. I don't really like how this is going. So let me flat iron my hair and then cut it. So this is what the back half of my hair looked like. Well, part of a portion of my back hair, back of my hair looked like after I blow dried it and flat ironed it. And as y'all can see, you can definitely tell the difference between the top and then going down to the bottom. That's pretty much what I cut off was the bottom part. <sighs> so this is what my hair looked like curly about two months ago, I wanna say, when I put product in it and stuff like that. Now this is what my hair looks like curly present time. It's very, very tight, very, very defined. And that's the only difference that you can honestly tell. It just looks very, very tight, overly defined, and you don't see any little stragglies running around. So, the styler that the setting styling spray that I chose to use during my round brush blowout was the Maya Organics Pure Simple Natural Magonga Oil Style Setting Spray. It says to set the hair for indirect heatless styles. You get eight point fluid ounces for $12.99. You can pick this up at your local drugstore. Target, Sally's, CVS, I believe. This has a 12 month life shelf on it. Directions say apply the damp hair, comb through evenly and blow dry or set. And that's exactly what I did. Style setting spray moisturizer protects your hair from heat styling damage. Uh, the Mogongo oil leaves the hair feeling soft and conditioned with luminous shine. Infused with certified organic ingredients to nourish and promote healthy hair and scalp. So that is the product claims. I will say this product smells super, super amazing. A little bit honestly went a long way in my hair. I didn't use a lot of the product during the blow dry session. I will say that it was very, very lightweight. It did not weigh down my hair. It was not sticky, which I was actually happy with. I don't like sticky setting sprays. I feel like a lot of times there's a lot of sticky setting sprays that was this isn't one of them outside of the smell being non-sticky lightweight I definitely feel like my hair did bounce back a lot quicker honestly say this definitely did help protect my hair because I only used two products when I chose to blow dry my hair and this was one of them. The other product was a Sebastian Potion 9 style spray, but I can honestly say this I was a fan of. I will definitely continue to use it just to form, you know, a better opinion, but based off of a first impression, it was very, very lightweight. It smelled good, it wasn't sticky, and I definitely felt like it did protect my hair during the blow dry setting. I'll comment down below, tell me guys if you guys like this spray. I was watching a video and that's how I came across the spray because I honestly wasn't even thinking about buying this 
heating spray. I was actually thinking about buying a Tresemme heat protectant. I think that's what I was buying. So, so far so good. Didn't have an issue with it, but I did just want to give a honorable mention on this product. I feel like I haven't used it enough to be like, yeah, go out and get it. But you guys tell me in the comment section, what do you guys think of this? Let, let your girl know. Moving right along. So I'm going to do real quick a length check. measured the pieces on my hair that I would remember so this was a 7 a 6 a 11 and a 11 yes my hair is in layers purposely my hair has always been in layers purposely when I originally cut my hair I cut this to be longer than the back however when I was in a sewing for two years this naturally became shorter because I always did a leave out so that's how that reversed so for the next 30 days, I'm going to be doing the Curls Blissful Length Liquid Hair Growth Vitamins. You can, by the time you see this video, I've probably used it for at least five to six days. So you're supposed to take the suggested size, which is one uh, tablespoon. This product promotes no breakouts. Breakouts, like I said, it absorbs 98% of the vitamin versus the pills since it's in the liquid forms. Since it's in a liquid form, it optimizes metabolism, support preventative skin health, promotes healthy and thick hair, and nail growth. What I will say is it don't taste good. I don't like the taste. Outside of that, I haven't seen any kind of breakouts or anything. So, so far so good. We'll give you guys an update on this product in... 30 days so let me know comment down in the comment section and tell me what it does for you anyways if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment like share and subscribe until next time y'all bye